outfit with you guys today. I am wearing this JNBY sort of cutout blazer coat. And I paired it with this gorgeous skirt from JNBY again with my heels that I love. And I think it's just the perfect color match to the skirt. One thing that I actually love about this pleated skirt is I don't know if you can tell, but the lines, the direction of the lines don't go straight down like most pleated skirts. It's kind of like on a curve, which I think is just such a unique touch to the skirt. And it makes it a little bit, you know, different. Um, and then I have a darker lip. Very simple makeup, however. I kept my makeup simple because I wanted to do a fleek bun, darker lip, and then my sunnies. And that is my look today. Heading to a quick meeting. And then meeting, seeing a friend, catching up with a friend that's also in town. And then we may or may not go to an event and a show, TBD. We'll see how the rest of the evening goes. But thank you to JMBY for sponsoring this New York Fashion Week video. Love the pieces, love the set that you sent me. And I had so much fun pairing it into one of my Fashion Week looks. So this is the full outfit. I am just getting into the hotel. We got in at 10 a.m. this morning. It is 7 p.m. I don't even want to get into what happened today, but it is not a New York Fashion Week trip without the first day always going up into flames, shambles, chaos. So I'm gonna end my day on a positive note. I had an event tonight, didn't make it to the event. I was gonna go out to dinner with friends that are in town. Not doing that. I need to get my life together. I need to shower. I just need to coordinate tomorrow. I wanna wake up early and get to everything I didn't get to do today. But listen, we're gonna have an amazing New York time. You guys know, if you've been following me, I'm not a big like fashion week event girly. Unless I'm working with brands that I really love and like enjoy using and like have a relationship with like that i'm all for i love that i love that part of my job you have a size i don't feel like it doesn't satisfy my soul in the same way so i avoid those experiences my life is just in a different place right now and I, like i'm just so focused on my clothing line and everything else i'm not really like into the scene the way i used to be when i was younger and just starting out to use if you know what i mean if you guys um watched my new york vlogs when i used to live in new york I used to work with Lexus all the time. They've been a brand partner of mine for years. I love them dearly. They have such good cars and I always have a blast working with them. We got a really nice car and it's just been so fun to drive it around, but it's so big compared to the car I'm used to. So it's like been getting, I've been getting used to driving it and the city especially, people drive crazy here. If you've ever been to New York City, you know you drive crazy here. But I always say, if you can live in New York and if you can drive in New York, you can do it anywhere. So kudos to everybody here. I'm here with Lyle, but Lyle had to go run. He had an appointment, he had to go do something. I'm gonna unpack everything. You guys, I packed all my stuff already with hangers from home. So all I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna hang all my clothes up, order food, room service. I, can't, I don't wanna leave this room. Charging everything up and I'm taking my butt to bed. I'm gonna shower and go to bed. That's my goal right now. And this is this view, like amazing. I'm obsessed with this view. Oh, look at this. Well, it's a corner unit. I'm in love. Let's see what's on the dining. Oh, no, wrong one. Go back. Not me staying up till 1 a.m. last night doing a blowout, but I knew it was gonna last in New York too, even though it's hot here, like it's not at, as humid as, are they kidding me? $29 for a shirt crew over. Maybe I'll do Uber Eats. Ooh, almond panna cotta. <gasps> Pistachio tres leches. Stop. I need like protein. I need protein for tonight. I brought even some of my own hangers. I love the Maya top. So good. The pants. These are also the Julia pants from my brand. I brought all the pants because you guys know. All the pants, all the tops. 
Here are the Alexandra pants again. I just have to steam everything. But this was the easiest unpacking ever. I will be doing this moving forward. I just literally took everything off the, like grabbed it out of my closet on the hangers and put it in my suitcase, folded it up. Everything is a little bit more wrinkled than it normally would be if I folded it better, but it's hard when they're on hangers. But I don't care, it's so much easier because then I could just steam it really quickly and um, move on with my day. Plus a lot of the items are gonna relax just by like sitting up, like being hung like this. So um, yeah, I brought way too many outfits for the amount of days I'm here, but what's new? I didn't know what the vibe was gonna be and how I'm feeling, so I just brought options which is always better than not having something or forgetting something. And then a few of my shoe options up there. salmon with some sweet potato, kale, Caesar, avocado dressing, and then like a sweet potato brownie. So we're gonna see, this all from Dig. We're gonna see how this all tastes. No matter what, I'm starving, so I'm gonna probably devour it all. morning guys Friday morning I woke up at 6 got ready I just filmed a um, reel slash TikTok of my morning makeup pretty much 
it's my usual if i do my makeup this is how i usually do it except i just change like the color of the lip and then i did that same color to like the cheeks blush area so that's pretty much the only difference and then i use some eyeshadow which if you know me i don't usually use on a daily if i'm doing my makeup this is all the content that i get, didn't get to yesterday that i'm doing today it's a little gloomy outside which you guys probably saw earlier but i like it i think I'm about to film another reel and i'm gonna film my ad and then i'm going to get ready i ordered bluestone for breakfast it should be downstairs actually let me text out because he's at the gym i'm gonna ask him to get it oh my gosh i have a little scatter braid i need my coffee and then we're gonna go head to the us open and i'm gonna go check on my baby the car to make sure she's all safe and sound in the garage nice and safe because um you like valet it and no one really has access to the gar garage except the workers and they're there on 24 hours so she's nice and safe i had to make sure she was after what happened yesterday and getting her key stolen mm -hmm. literally a four or five hour journey we got the key back and we're back into the groove of things so anyways i'm about to film this reel i'm doing i got a few pieces from reformation it's one of my first time like first big purchases from reformation and they were having a sale so i got a bunch of dresses and i'm gonna do a reel trying them all on in case you guys liked or wanted any of them and then i'm gonna feel mad and then get ready to leave for the us open so and then i'm gonna come back quickly change my makeup's gonna be done pretty much for the whole day then i'm gonna come back quickly change for the um show and then an after party shop at the US Open right now. I haven't been able to vlog guys because I don't know if you could tell but I'm drenched in sweat. The boobies are out today. But this is my outfit. I just wanted to quickly really show you guys this literally cannot handle how hot it is right now. I'm oh a lot of stuff on my lip too. Food. I just had some food but I couldn't even whip out my camera because I was trying to scarf it down. First meal of the day. But it's too hot to even function. I'm pretty sure if this was thin, you could see the sweat. It's like collecting all the sweat right now. And I have this sweater on in the back to try and protect my hair. So much for doing it this morning. The only reason why I care about the sweat right now is because time-wise, I won't have time to really get ready before the show. And I'm going to head to the hotel, change, and head. My friend was meeting me there. And then we're heading to the show. So I won't have time to really freshen up. And I don't want to be too late because then it's going to start without me and the whole shebang. So that's the only reason why I care about this sweat right now. Because I don't want to have to redo my makeup and hair. But you guys know how I am. I'm literally just going to put on some powder and call it a day. So the next game starts at 3. Probably going to leave here at like, realistically with traffic, like 4.30 max. Max. And how cute is this little heart ring I have?
to the Giovanni show. My fit is nothing crazy, just honestly kind of casual, but not really, if you know what I mean. I should have tried this on before I left, but I didn't. I was confident I was gonna like match, and I'm not a big fan of how this top looks with this skirt, but I have no other option, so it's gonna have to do. Um, and it started pouring outside. I just touched up my hair and makeup, and I'm off. So yeah, and then after two after parties, I'm gonna meet up and go to dinner with all my friends that are in town and Lyle and everybody. So that's kind of the plan for the rest of the evening. The US Open was so much fun. I'm so bummed. I didn't get to watch like a full game because by the time we got there, I had a snack to eat, went to the stores, the merch store, the game started and I had to head back because it was gonna be an it's, it took me an hour to get back to the city because of traffic and I have to get ready and now I have to leave for the show, so. He's almost there. He's like at the beginning of the street. And they gave us a new car. And now I'm gonna have rain, all, like, fuzzy hair. guys it's saturday afternoon and well i should say good afternoon because we're off to grab coffee we had a little bit not really too late of a start at all actually we woke up at a good time but just stayed in the hotel and got ready for a second and then i ordered blue stone and we we're waiting for like an hour and a half and it just didn't arrive and the app didn't let me track and i was trying to figure out where this food is and it was very strange so we're going to ralph's coffee it brings back memories when i used to live here I loved whenever I did go to Upper East. I used to love stopping by. So we're gonna grab some coffee, much needed. And today is a lot of like just walking around, chilling. Not really exploring because there's nothing to explore. <laughs> we, like, we lived here, but just like hanging out with friends and um, enjoying the city. So yeah.
stuck in traffic, but what's new? Oh, New York drivers are crazy. Do you hear? You know what? I don't. <laughs> I don't know what peace and silence. It makes me like love Miami because you can drive and like you just hear like what do you hear? Cars and you hear like the birds and the palm trees and the leaves. Like you don't hear like mur, mur, eh, yelling like tires screeching because they're about to hit a freaking bicyclist like peace it feels good but the weather's been so weird here it's like hot but it's about to like rain and stuff there's like thunder so i don't know what's going on with that we're picking up bluestone because the food we ordered got canceled or something i don't know what happened so we haven't really eaten um besides this hot dog that lyle got from the mark hotel <laughs> And we both like split. I haven't had a hot dog in, I don't know. I really don't remember the last time I've had a hot dog. It's probably been like 10 years, realistically. Um, whoa, jeez Louise, these people. Driving here is insane. But my feet are in so much pain from last night. They need some TLC. Tender, love, and care. number two and this is actually with blue spirulina and honey it's really good mm. and almond milk I'm waiting for Lau to come grab me because he took the car and was like catching up with a friend hopefully my mouth is not gonna be blue afterwards but he was catching up with a friend and now he's gonna come swoop me and we're going to the airport today I just caught up with my best friend who was on a trip so I didn't get to see her earlier when I arrived but she just got back into town it was great to like see her and catch up and it was just good QT quality time. So it's all that really happened. And now I'm like waiting for Lyle. He's like two minutes away. And then we're gonna go check in and pretty much just gonna catch up on work because I have so much to catch up on. So I'm really excited to get back and like get into the swing of things. But I have a lot to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I was really happy to be back in New York for a little bit, but I definitely uh, made this trip a lot more focused on relationships and friends and even met new people but like more of like that in-person interactions and being present and that just fulfills me so much more and obviously i love the fashion side of things I'm really excited to be heading back and to see Prince, who i miss dearly so i'm gonna see you guys in the next vlog i love you so much